again, everybody. It's Todd Sturridge, the horror nerd here at Scares That Care, Charity Weekend 8 in Williamsburg, Virginia. It is Friday. We are kicking things off with a blast. I have the honor and privilege of sitting here with a dead man himself. From Weekend at Bernie's, Mr. Terry Kaiser. Terry, how are you? Thank you so much. Before we get started, I, you, you, you mentioned your daughter is behind the camera. And uh, I offered her a signed autograph. Uh, in exchange for her shoes. <laughs> and then you said, well, are you molesting my daughter? I said, I'm merchandising. No, 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 no. Merchandising. No, no, no. What, what, I didn't say molesting. No, what did you I say? I said harassing. Harassing. Let's, harassing. <laughs> no, 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 no. Whatever it was, I wanted her shoes to give her an autograph picture. You know, I mean, that's part of the deal. Uh, hmm. I don't know. The shoes might be worth a little more. Okay. I'll give you two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What a way to start off an interview, right? Terry, it's been a, a couple of years since we sat down. How have you been? I've been fine. Thank you very much. Good. Uh, Good. I'm still above ground. I'm very happy about that. Clearly. <laughs> uh, have a uh, wonderful... I have to plug... Uh, I founded a film festival, the URA International Film Festival in Colorado which is our third year uh, doing this thing, and it's been quite successful. Uh, we brought in uh, last year uh, Jim Hart, who directed, uh, who wrote Cook, mm -hmm. uh, Contact with Jodie Foster, uh, Coppola's Dracula. Uh, so he was one of our main headliners at the festival, but the URA International Film Festival in URA, Colorado on the Western Slope. Uh, I just wanted to plug that because we're going into our fourth year and it's been a lot of fun Fantastic. to surround yourself with young people uh, that are creative artists and stuff like this and give them a boost on their films and stuff. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a joy. Very cool. As someone who runs my own film festival, shameless plug, uh, I do appreciate that because anything that uh, helps the arts and up-and-coming filmmakers, uh, yes. it's a great thing. Yes, yes, it really yes, is. yeah, yeah. And I think, the, I think the secret is surround yourself with youth because their ideas and their creative forefront in today's society, in other words, it's so much easier to make a film, you know, back in our days, young I mean, I remember editing, you know, in the jam. Oh, on, studio, on the film, thing, yep. right? cut and, and splice. Yeah, and now uh, you can have your own, you know, computer. You can do your own music editing and do your own movie. And I think it's a wonderful opportunity for young people to get into our business. Yes, I, I, I totally agree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, t uh, Terry, is this your first Scares That Care yes. convention? What do you think? Yeah. I think it's wonderful. I think I think the idea of, of uh, them putting this on helping uh, uh, people uh, that uh, are having troubles. Um, and I think everybody is uh, kind of focused on that. And, uh, uh, you know, everybody is so friendly here and nice. And uh, I think it's for a good cause. So I'm happy to be here. And we are happy to have you Thank on our you. show. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Terry, I, I probably asked you this the last time, but it still endlessly fascinates me, and I love asking the question. Does it surprise you what a part of a pop culture Weekend at Bernie's became? Because there are tons of movies and TV shows that reference it. So does that surprise you at all? Did you, when you were making it, this <coughs> movie, <laughs> when, when we, when we what it would become? Yeah. Uh, when we first, uh, we, we started rehearsing in New York City, like a play. Uh, we wanted to do, uh, you know, understand this. And I thought maybe it was like a one-trick pony uh, movie and stuff like this. And then Jonathan and Andrew, my co-stars in the thing, uh, we started at living and tying shoelaces and carrying them around. And, and all of a sudden we said, do you know, this could be funny. <laughs> and, uh, and it went from there. Uh, a little tough making it sometimes. I broke three ribs during the thing. Wow, I had a vertebrae really? jammed in my neck one time Oof. until I finally got smart enough. And um, the director, we were doing another stunt. And he just kind of, uh, the, the whole thing, did you get the shot? How was the actor? You know, we were always second thought. <laughs> and so after that, I, I said, uh, his name was Ted Kotcheff. Wonderful man, very creative man, but totally crazy. And uh, he said, okay, we're going to do this one scene, and you're just going to bob your head on the wagon. I said, I'm sorry, I don't understand what you need. Could you show me? If you could show me, then I'll understand. I'm sorry, I just don't, I, if you show me, I'll try to do what you want. 
Well, all of a sudden, he had to do them before I did it, uh-huh. and they got a little more safe on the set. Got it. Say. Yeah. <laughs> True story. Wow. <laughs> yeah, man. Back, I don't know that they could get away with that today. I don't know if he could. And then... Think things have changed a little bit. How about, how about 10 years later, the Bernie dance? Yes. <laughs> that came out of nowhere, and everybody asked me, they said, well, how, how did you do that? How did that Bernie dance come about? And I said, well, I was sitting on a toilet in the movie, and the music started, and then I started getting... And I said, I, and I wanted to make it real. I wanted to make it uh, so it was believable. And so, where does music start? And I said, music starts down here. And so that's the thing that started moving first. <laughs> and that's where the old Bernie dance came from. I <laughs> think like that. <laughs> Look, you, you always learn something during these interviews, folks, especially at Scares That Care. <laughs> So, Terry, finally, uh, other than the film festival, which sounds like it's going great, what uh, what else are you working on these days? What have you got going on? I just finished a movie five weeks down in uh, Atlantic Beach, North Carolina. A remake of the, the horror film that was done 40 years ago called The Mutilator. Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, It's a great old slasher uh, film. Old, yeah. old, old slasher film 40 years ago, and Buddy Cooper, who directed and wrote the first one 40 years ago all of a sudden he said i want to make another one a remake of mutilator and make mutilator 2 and uh so he called me and he said would you would you be the i, I don't know if i'm supposed to say it you know they, they say the killer i mean you know, what, what do you want I, you know. uh, he said and i said at the end of the movie you know i did it he says oh yeah i said i'll do it nice yeah so so uh i ended up uh Killing ten people, and uh, and it's going to come out. I don't know September, October, or something like that. But but uh, Buddy Cooper, being the old timer he is, and the old timer that I am, uh, we had a lot of fun, and kind of held hands going through this thing. And I, I think there's it's going to scare people. Uh, we never know what it looks like when you put a movie together. You never know that. Right. Uh, but uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what he's doing, and it was it was fun to help his vision 40 years later fantastic yeah yeah yeah, yeah i i had heard about that yeah. one uh, felissa rose is in it yeah and a couple other people that yeah. i know yeah. so that's really cool yeah it should be fun all right yeah and a couple other movies fantastic uh, that i don't even know the titles of uh uh that i just finished um so yeah so yeah everything is fine good yeah busy is good yeah yeah <laughs> and golf every friday Nice. <laughs> That's it. Any final words uh, for the fans out there you'd like to share? Uh, yes. Uh, support your movies. Support your creative artists. And make sure that you don't talk to anybody about trying to get a pair of shoes from them. <laughs> because you could get rebuffed. <laughs> All right? This one will go down in history. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, it is always a pleasure to see you. Thank you again Thank you, for a friend. few minutes of your time. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you. Terry Kaiser, everybody here at Scares the Care Charity Weekend Date in Williamsburg, Virginia. This is Todd Sturich, the Horror Nerd, signing off. We will see all of you in the next interview.